Hello girls, um, I'm going to show you how you can um, uh, change your signature in your Outlook and also how you can organize your mail. First you're going to go to the um, gear and this will uh, help you find settings and we're going to go down to uh, options And under options, you have uh, a lot of different things you can do with your account. Here's where um, you see you have my account. You can change your um, picture if you like. Uh, and um, you can organize your email, um, work with your settings, and different things here. I'm going to go to settings. And the first thing you see is your email signature. Um, for your email signature, you'll notice the name is in red and it's Arial 12 point font. So type your name there. Below that, you are going to type um, your class. So I'm putting it in parentheses here, but you're going to type your class. So class of 2017. Then you're going to type Rosary High School and then where you see my phone number you're gonna type your email so you're gonna have your your name in red Arial 12 point font then you're gonna put your class in black Arial 10 point font then type Rosary High School Arial 10 point font and then here, you don't have a phone number at Rosary, so you'll just type your email. Um, and that's Arial 10 point font. And then also click this box, click automatically include my signature. That way your signature will appear on all your emails. And then you hit save. And that's how you set up your email signature. Um, if we go back to Outlook, another thing I wanted to show you that's really helpful is um, organizing your email. Uh, you should keep your emails organized um, and save them in case uh, you ever need to refer to them later. So in your inbox, if you uh, right click on that, you'll get a menu and you could create folders. And so you can create a folder for each class. And I would save all the emails you get from your teachers there. So for example, um, you'll see I have all these folders. And I got this email from Mrs. Wynn. And I'm going to save it. And I just uh, click, hold, and drag to her file. And um, you can have as many files you want. If you want to delete them, you just click on it, then right click. And then uh, you can choose to delete. And I'm going to delete that folder. So um, I would recommend um, creating one folder for each of your classes. And if you have coaches, create a folder for your coach. And when, once you get the email and you reply to it, drag it to the folder. I leave the emails I haven't replied to yet here. So I know um, that these are emails I still need to attend to. And that's a, just to help keep your inbox organized. If you have any more questions about using your email, just let me know.